this PowerPoint lesson is on sections. Um, you're able to insert sections within your presentation. Some presentations are really, really long. I've seen some upwards of 100 uh, slides. So you don't always just use them to present. Some people use them to teach. Some people use them to catalog different kinds of information. So the ability to put in sections is really good the longer your presentation is. So you simply select the slide where you want the section to start. So let's say I wanted a new section to start right here, right? Then you simply go to section here and add a section. And now it's added a section and uh, it never gave me really the option of naming it. So you need to now right click and rename the section. And then I can call this uh, anything, right? So I'll just call this content. And then hit enter. And if you want to change the name, you can right click and you can rename. You can remove. You can remove the section and the slides. Careful about that, right? And then you can remove all the sections if you wanted. And I don't believe that would include the slides. And you can move them up. You can move them down. All right. So you need to understand what your options are because chances are uh, you're going to be asked to do one or many of these things. So simply by right clicking on the section, it's very similar to right clicking on a, on a sheet uh, in Excel, right? Um, now, you also have the ability to collapse and expand. Now, you, you can collapse them this, from here as well. Right, so that little arrow, so I've collapsed it so that I don't see all the slides in or I expand it. So this is expanded, this is collapsed, collapsed, expanded. And when they're collapsed, they tell you how many slides are in there. So kind of a neat feature that's new to PowerPoint. Uh, I can see it being uh, quite handy. Uh, you can set up your presentation so that one person is in charge of one section and another person is in charge of another. It makes collaborating within uh, PowerPoint uh, that much easier if you're sharing this using a SharePoint uh, or a cloud-based application. Um, really like that. So once again, your options are in the right click. You can do all of these things. So if I wanted this section to be above beginning, I can, which of course I didn't. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to move this section up instead. And there you go. Um, you, you should also know that if you go to file and print, you can choose to print one section or another. So rather than all slides here, I can pick beginning or I could pick content and it would only pick, it would only print that section. So that's about it. Uh, fast, easy, very straightforward sections in PowerPoint.